What's going on everyone? In this video, I will focus more on how to create the custom columns on this PDF to be able to track the work we put in place every week. So the first thing I do is I go to my area command and then I start doing a takeoff on all the panels that get placed on this wall. The next thing I do is I go and create layers where all these panels are gonna go. So right click and then I'm gonna assign a layer which is gonna be called facial panels. I had already created these layers so I'm just gonna go ahead and put them in there. And the other thing that I have to track on this wall is the closure port, which is the section between the precast panel and the pile, which gets poured with concrete and locks everything into place. So what I do is I go and grab my polygon command from my tool chest, and then I click through here and then double click at the end. Now, the, the other thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the polyline command and then I'm gonna say split all. The other thing that I wanna mention as well is to make sure that you have everything labeled correctly. Uh, so my subject is gonna be cut walls and my label is gonna be closure pour. All right, now this is where the fun begins. We're gonna go to markups list. We're gonna go to columns, manage columns, custom columns, and then we're gonna create our first custom column, which is gonna be weekending. I like this format down here. I'm going to say it's going to be custom. So I'm going to click OK. Now the second custom column that we're going to create is going to be a week. I like to track everything by different weeks by week one, two, three or four to see how long it took us uh, to build a wall and then to be able to filter easily just to have more options. So I'm going to call it week and then this is going to be a choice. I'm going to click add. This is going to be week one and then I'm going to say cut walls. Okay, and then the last one, week three, click okay. And then the next custom column that we're gonna build is gonna be bay height. That's why we did that red markup that you saw at the beginning to be able to get a square footage of the closure port and ultimately get the cubic yards. So this is gonna be bay height. The formula is gonna be a length. If you start typing, these are the different variables that you can get to multiply things out. So this is gonna be a length. And for now, I'm gonna say okay. The next custom column that we're gonna build is gonna be closure port square footage. This is gonna be a formula. And now we're gonna use the bay height uh, custom column that we just created to be able to get the numbers that we're looking for. So this is gonna be bay height times 2.75, click okay. The next custom column that we're gonna build is gonna be cubic yards. This is gonna be a formula, bay height times closure per square feet divided by 27, click okay click OK. And now I have all the different custom columns that I was looking for. Now, the last thing that I wanted to show is make sure you grab the panels and the fill color. You set them to white and then also make sure the check mark is highlighted or else you won't be able to uh, see the background. So that's pretty much it for the custom columns video. Feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. Also, go check out my YouTube channel, which is where I upload all my videos. And as always, I will see you guys on the next video.